Now, that's why Go is so great. There are full-time paid maintainers. That's why LLVM is so great. There are people who work at Apple. There's people who work at Google. There's people who work at Intel. Their full-time job is to do nothing but work on LLVM. If it wasn't for all of those people, we couldn't do the things we do. So kudos. But there's another unpopular opinion. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Open source could not exist without big companies. Is that really unpopular? Yeah. I'm not saying people don't agree, but it's for sure unpopular. <laughs> Can you say a bit more on that? Well, first time an open source project becomes important is as soon as somebody starts making money with it. Up till then, it's just a hobby. You know, it's an experiment. It's a cool thing. As soon as company A tells you, hey, Vladimir, we want to pay you to work on this thing. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Tiny go, yeah, I totally know that. <laughs> you know, like then you read Tobias's book on the way to the job interview. <laughs> 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 right. Only now is this open source project actually matter. Right. right. I mean, really matter. Before that, it's like it's fun and it's cool. And I mean, I don't want to talk down on people's vanity projects because it makes them feel good or on people's love projects because they just need to share because those are wonderful things. But you need to have a pretty understanding boss to be like, yeah, I got to go fly halfway around the world to go do this you know, conference and go talk about this way to make games. And I know we're not a game company. And in fact, no, I'm not spending too much time on it, really, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Until you have somebody paying you know, in the capitalist society in which we live, there is no way to have a sustainable project. Somebody has to come up with some money at some point. Unpopular.